Welcome to Beyond the Comic Panels, a film for aspiring comic book writers, pencilers, inkers, colorists, and publishers exploring tips, tricks, techniques, and industry secrets that can help you hone your craft, helping you get inspired to break into this creative field. Let me introduce myself. Jason Garris is the name, and documentary filmmaking is what I do. Going back even further, for many years, I was into the hobby of building and painting scale model kits. I've been doing that on and off since I was at least seven or eight years old. I've built models for independent films, private collectors, and for various magazine publications. Let's start at the beginning. In 1979, I was visiting my grandparents, and one day my grandfather took me grocery shopping with him. As he went about his business at the grocery store, I was left to look at the white spinner rack of comic books. The one that caught my eye was Shogun Warriors number no. 2, which he bought for me. I loved everything and anything having to do with giant robots fighting giant monsters. This comic book was right up my alley. This was the genesis of my love and interest in comic books. From this point forth, I became a comic book reader and collector. Fast forward to 1987, my freshman year of high school. A comic book store I would frequent became my first job. Located on the north side of Milwaukee, Polaris Comics was where I learned about the comic book business by some of the local artists that would come in. I would learn about deadlines, tricks of the trade, and perhaps other things that I shouldn't have found out about. You know, shop talk about the various comic book companies they worked for. All in all, it was the best four years of employment I ever had. I worked around material I loved and learned a lot from the creative regulars. Continuing with the subject of my high school years, I met a fellow comic book reader and artist by the name of Bill that had the same interests I did. We hung out a lot, he liked to draw as well as I, and we had all these crazy ideas for comic book stories and series. Eventually, Bill came up with a character by the name of Mojo the Clown. Bill and I would come up with stories, Bill would take care of the pencils, and I would do the inking. It was a fun collaborative effort by both of us, and we felt like a team. After high school, in my first year of college, I submitted a Mojo the Clown comic strip Bill and I put together for the bi-weekly college newspaper, The Times. A week later, I was contacted by the newspaper editor that he was interested in printing Mojo the Clown every other week when they published the paper. Bill and I were in print for the very first time and we were ecstatic that Mojo was going to get read and hopefully noticed by more people than just Bill and myself. In 1990, I read an ad in a comic book trade magazine advertising a new magazine being published that was looking for artists. Bill and I submitted two strips of Mojo the Clown that were previously printed in the college newspaper as samples. The new magazine was marked as being mad and cracked magazines combined, but a little more crude, rude, and edgy. Warped Magazine was a new venture by comic book artist Rich Buckler. So here we are, back full circle, paying homage to the medium that started my love for art of all kinds, comic books. I decided that a great way to explain this unique art form more in depth wouldn't be from me, but from professional artists, illustrators, animators, writers, and publishers that know the industry the best, those who work in it and have done so for many years. With the permission of Wizard World Madison, I interview 10 professionals who give advice on how to prepare and break into the field. Some of the best free advice you'll ever receive about getting into the comic book business. I'm sure some of it you may have possibly heard before, but I'm pretty sure a good majority of it was fresh and insightful. I hope this documentary has given you the inspiration, hope, and drive to take the next step into being a comic book artist, writer, publisher, or even an animator. Hone your skills. Don't be afraid of constructive criticism and take chances. If you don't take that first huge step and take a chance, you may regret it for the rest of your life. The creative power is within you. Don't be afraid of what others think and say about what you want to do. 
make yourself happy, and everything else good will follow. Don't give up. Work hard and fight to obtain your dreams. Nobody else will. With that said, I'm Jason Garris for Beyond the Comic Panels. Thank you for watching.